The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. Did you know over 10,000 moon bears are imprisoned on farms in Asia? For 20 years, they suffer the agony of having the bile drained for Chinese medicine. But bile is so easily replaced with herbs. Animals Asia is rescuing hundreds of bears and working to end this needless cruelty. Please join us. Stop using bear bile. Support the moon bear rescue. Concerned viewers, welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants on Supreme Master Television. Today on Stop Animal Cruelty, we focus on the appalling brutality inflicted on the Asiatic black bear or moon bear. These innocent animals are imprisoned in small boxes known as extraction cages or crush cages on so-called bear bile farms in China, Olak or Vietnam and South Korea. The merciless practice of extracting the animal's bile causes them immense pain, anguish and fear. Asiatic black bear bile is used in traditional Chinese medicine, but according to highly respected practitioners of this school of medicine, the substance can easily be replaced with natural herbs or synthetic alternatives. For over 15 years, Jill Robinson, the vegetarian founder of the Hong Kong-based Animals Asia Foundation and recipient of the Shining World Leadership Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai, has worked tirelessly to save the precious lives of moon bears. As part of its Healing Without Harm initiative and through billboards in China with the slogan Rescue Black Bears, Give Up Using Bear Bile, the Foundation informs the public about the suffering of these gentle animals. In addition, Animals Asia has opened a Moon Bear Rescue Center in Tam Dao National Park, Olak or Vietnam and in Chengdu, China, where bears freed from bile farms live out their lives in peace and comfort. Ms. Robinson now describes the unconscionable conditions these magnificent animals are forced to endure on bile farms. Currently, over 4,000 bears are kept on bear farms in Vietnam and 7,000 in China, although that number may be realistically far higher, even up to 10,000 bears on farms in China. These are Appendix 1 endangered species. They are incarcerated and confined in cages so small they can hardly move for literally decades unless they die first. Um, the bears are often declawed. They have the paw tips hacked away so that the claws can never grow again. They are also very often detoothed. They have their canine teeth cut back to gum level, exposing the pulp and the nerves. Um, if the farmers are not detoothing the bears, the animals very often shatter their own teeth through repetitive bar biting on the farms because they are engaging in such stressful and stereotypic behavior. Their whole condition, both physical and mental, is an absolute disgrace. And they've been farmed in China since the early 1980s and in a similar pattern in Vietnam, probably from about the early 1990s. We are so frustrated in our day-to-day -day work. We are so frustrated with the deceit of the bear farmers who try to maintain that bear farming is a humane practice. It is not humane. It is killing these bears in huge numbers and it's a practice that should not be existing in a civilized developing world. I urge anyone listening to this interview, please, please, if you have any influence in China, use it. Talk to the government officials. Having bile extracted is an excruciating experience that no sentient being should ever have to endure. Before these animals had metal catheters protruding into their gallbladders and abdomens, um, but then the bear farmers began to invent new and what they called humane methods of bile extraction. I can assure your listeners there is no such thing as a humane method of collecting bear bile. In fact, what happens today is the bear farmers engage in carving a hole into the abdomen and into the gallbladder to create a fistula which freely drips bile. And as everybody would know, a 
hole into the gallbladder and the abdomen is a perfect vector for bacterial infection and thus we are seeing these bears dying in agony on the bear farms and at our sanctuary when we rescue them from peritonitis, from septicemia, from all levels of infection that is surging across their bodies because of these holes that are cut into the bears' bodies. that are exploited on these farms are also sadly perishing from cancers that ravage their bodies. What we also find even more worryingly is that the bears are dying eventually in the majority of liver cancer. These are cancers seven kilos or more in weight in their bodies and the cancer has seeded to other organs as well. And obviously we are now worried about the contaminated bile that this is potentially causing the liver cancers in the bear. And if it's causing the liver cancers, what is it doing to the health of people that consume this contaminated bile? People should be very, very worried if they are taking bare bile today. Please don't. You have no idea because the bare bile is containing pus, feces, urine, cancer cells and rust. Rather than using bare bile as medicine, people can use the numerous humane alternatives available to heal their ailments. No one is going to die for the lack of bear bile today. It can easily and cheaply be replaced by herbs, 54 different herbal alternatives within Chinese pharmacopoeia and um, an abundance of synthetic alternatives as well. When we return, Jill Robinson will speak about the barbarous bear bile farms in Olak or Vietnam. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. highly endangered moon bears being kept in tiny cages like this across Asia. These gentle creatures are milked for their bile because it is believed to be a health tonic. It's a cruel and unnecessary practice when there are over 50 natural and man-made alternatives that deliver exactly the same healing effect. Already we've rescued over 250 bears who are now living freely in our sanctuaries in China and Vietnam. Help Animals Asia Foundation save these beautiful creatures and end bear farming now. To find out more about what you can do, log on to animalsasia.org. You're watching Stop Animal Cruelty, where we're focusing on the horrifying savage exploitation of Asian black bears for their bile. In Orlok or Vietnam, bear bile farming is against the law. However, the practice illegally continues, causing untold agony and suffering to the bears. In Vietnam, 4,000 bears are still milked for their bile in the country. What they do is anaesthesia bears, um, some of them every single week. They have a general anaesthetic. They lay them out on the floor and they bring through an ultrasound machine, a machine that is supposed to detect problems in the human and animal species, but actually allows the bear farmers to locate the actual position of the gallbladder. When they think they have found the gallbladder with the ultrasound machine, they use a six inch spinal needle, which they put into the abdomen and into the gallbladder. And they then take out the needle 
lick the needle to determine whether they have found the bile in the gallbladder and then they put the needle back into the same place, extract the bile, anything up to 100, 150 mil at any one time into a big uh, container via mechanical pump. And this is what happens to the bears. This barbaric treatment of the bears includes exposing the noble beings to outlawed substances. So this multiple stabbing with a needle into the bear's abdomen and gallbladder must be causing bile leakage, which is very detrimental to the bears. Again, causes peritonitis, again causes massive infection. Um, and also what we're finding is that they are using illegal drugs. They are using ketamine in Vietnam to anesthetize these bears. And we found evidence of this, the ketamine bottles the ropes, the restraints, the nooses that they put around the bears' necks um, to restrain them. It is just appalling. We need much more support behind us. We're ready and willing. We have a sanctuary that's ready now to take at least another 80 bears um, from these farms. We've seen great help from the Vietnam government, but we need much, much more. Even after being freed from the terrifying bile farms, survival is not guaranteed for the bears because they have been living in such a severely weakened state for so many years. Well, we've rescued to date um, 260 bears in China and 29 bears in Vietnam. And I have to tell you, each group of bears that come is in exactly the same condition of horror and degradation. It's unbelievable to our staff on site. You know, we're absolutely brought to our knees with the condition of these animals. Um, for example, the March before last, out of 28 bears that we rescued, we now only have 10 left. Within the first three days, 11 of those bears had died as a result of the horrific condition on the farms. You know, they were full of infection, they had paws missing, some of them were blind, they had their teeth torn from their jaw sockets, which were also broken. They had intestines that had swollen um, far beyond um, what is normal in the abdomen and eventually seeing those bears dying because they were pressing so painfully on the heart and on the lungs. Here are some final thoughts from Jill Robinson on how providing vegetarian food to the staff at the Chengdu Bear Rescue Facility is connected to preserving our earth and its species. In China, we felt that our contribution to the universe could help by asking everyone to go vegetarian one day a week. So we have Vegetarian Fridays on site. For the first three months, Animals Asia, as our initiative, we paid for the food for all of our 150 staff on site to go vegetarian. But now we are asking them to kindly put their hands into their pockets and buy their own vegetarian meals on a Friday. And it is working. We are ingesting too much meat into our bodies as a human race which is causing too many problems to this planet. It's not just a welfare issue, it's an environmental issue that is causing our precious earth to be suffocating each year um, as we go on and I think we can all do this world a great service by being vegetarians or at least going vegetarian for as many days as possible each week. Please, please, be veg, go green, save the planet. We extend our sincere appreciation to Jill Robinson for being a leading light in rescuing the splendid moon bears across Asia. May these lovely animals soon be left in peace and be allowed to roam free with their autonomy respected and their lives always protected. Caring viewers, thank you for your company today on Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May we cherish all the animals that bless our planet with their presence.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.